We have been talking about the shortage of personal protective equipment across the country in these recent weeks. We've often mentioned Canada's emergency stockpile. Ever since the 1950s, there has been a network of warehouses across the country that have stored a stockpile of supplies and equipment that could be used in case of an emergency. But last year, two million of those medical masks and nearly half a million gloves were destroyed because they had passed their expiry date. Those items were not replaced. Joining us this morning to talk about the effectiveness of this emergency strategy is Jack Lindsay. He's a professor, a professor rather, in emergency studies at Brandon University. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, the stockpile's original purpose was to prepare for something like a nuclear fallout. But you say, obviously, the needs have changed over time. You now compare the stockpile to a spare tire. Explain what you mean by that. Well, the stockpile supplements our healthcare system, but it was designed back in the 1950s. So we've wound up with a spare tire from a Jeep, and now we're trying to put it onto a modern sports car. It just doesn't fit, but we still have a spare tire. Well, we mentioned that millions of uh, expired pieces of equipment were destroyed. They were not replaced. What does this say about the way the stockpile is managed? Well, the stockpile was originally designed for long-term storage. Uh, and again, most of it was equipped through the 50s and 60s. Uh, it was stored around major cities uh, with that intent of servicing a, a community after a nuclear blast. The issues that's come up more recently is how to turn over um, both pharmaceuticals and now some of the supplies like gloves that, that may have an expiry date. I'm just not clear what happened um, with, the, with the Saskatchewan issue, but I know that the updating of the stockpiles has always been a problem for Public Health Agency of Canada. Yeah, and you know, this pandemic has just shone a light on something that, as you say, has been a problem for a while. Now, the Prime Minister is saying efforts are going to be made now to divert supplies from that stockpile to make sure that they get used before they expire. But if we are constantly diverting supplies, is not a stockpile still just that, a stockpile, with products that can go out of date? Well, with the pharmaceuticals, in many cases, they have the amount that they need provided by the supplier, but it's in the supply chain. It's not set aside to go out of date. As other customers or other needs um, draw from that uh, volume, uh, the provider gets more in. So I would like to think that perhaps uh, some system could be made up with the provincial health care supply uh, services so that the national stockpile isn't just stored. It's actually part of a, a fatter supply chain, if you will. And talk to me more about this different approach that you would like to see happen to make things more efficient, bring it more up to date. Well, there's one major issue is looking at what exactly the stockpile was developed for. Uh, thinking more about the hazards and issues that we have today and less about the issues of the past. The challenge the public health agency has, and I, I'm sympathetic for it, is that it's very expensive. And so we, we're facing a, a large cost for something that might not get used. And as we know, um, elected officials often like to spend money more on good things that are happening, not bad things that might happen. Jack Lindsay, fascinating. Thanks for explaining some of this to us today. No, no problem. Thank you for having me on. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.